Hello guys and welcome back. Today we are go going to talk about integrated MTech program in VIT Vellore. So what are the basic requirements for this course? For this course, there is no any entrance exam. You just need to clear your 11th and 12th. To read uh, some instruction which they have provided on VIT portal. So first is there is no entrance exam. Candidate who have studied in regular, full time and formal education are alone eligible to apply for this integrated MTech program and this course is for 5 years. Candidate should be resident Indian national. Next is the admission will be on basis of performance in your 11th and 12th marks whatever you have. So based upon that you will get admitted. So what are the integrated MTech programs offered in VIT Vellore, VIT Andhra Pradesh, VIT Bhopal, VIT Chennai and VIT AP campus. So in VIT Vellore they are offering integrated MTech program software engineering for 5 years. Integrated MTech CSE in collaboration with Virtual USA 5 years. Integrated MTech CSC with specialization in data science 5 years course. In VIT Chennai, they are offering integrated VI, integrated MTech software engineering course for 5 years. Integrated MTech CSC in specialization in business analytics 5 years course. Next course is integrated MTech construction technology and management 5 years course. These are uh, course available in VIT Chennai. Now we will move towards VIT Andhra Pradesh. Integrated MTech course software engineering 5 years. Then integrated MTech CSC in collaboration with Virtual USA. Now we will move towards the VIT Bhopal campus integrated mtech in artificial intelligence this is one of the best course what i will feel and i will suggest you to go for integrated mtech software engineering and specialization in cyber security integrated mtech scientific integrated mtech computer science uh, and engineering with specialization in computational and data science this is also a good course so these are the different courses they are offering in various branches of vit university Let's move towards the eligibility criteria. Basic eligibility for MTech integrated course is you must have 65% marks in your PCM course that is physics chemistry math that is your group mark for that you required minimum 65% marks. There are some different rules if the person is from Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh and Northeastern states. So what they are telling for integrated MTech programs the aggregate marks obtained in plus 2 that is 11 to 12 is 50% uh, marks in PCM for following categories. Which are those uh, categories I am going to tell you. Um, so first is SC or ST candidates for them 55% marks is more than enough. Then the person who is belongs to Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh and North Eastern states such as Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland and Sikkim, Tripura. The applicants belong to SC or SC, uh, ST can category should submit their category sub. Talk about which are those documents need to submit when you are taking admission for integrated MTech. So first one is uh, class 10th mark set as proof of birth date of candidate. Uh, second one is uh, class 12th mark sheet for qualification. First document is class 10th mark sheet as a proof of date date of birth second is class 12th mark sheet of qualifying examination of all attempts migration certificate or you can say transfer certificate or school living certificate third point is conduct certificate that is original conduct certificate you need to uh, provide to them copy of provisional admission letter then four copies of your photograph uh, then there are two affidavits needs to be uh, supply or submit when you are ad uh, going to take admission here. You can go to uh, VIT's website and check there. So you can find their affidavits. One is for students, one is for parents. And again, a fitness certificate is must. You have to come with fitness certificate. Uh, apart from that, uh, Aadhaar card, Aadhaar cards Xerox you have to submit. Uh, then uh, they said uh, free fee refund uh, policy what is a fee refund policy uh, they are telling as per UGC's norms and now I will talk about what are the important dates so already uh, application date is completed that is the 31st of uh, July 2022 and now uh, the publication of shortlisted candidate is on 10th of August yesterday and choice preference in campuses you can give from 10th of August to 11th of August, Wednesday and Thursday. Seat allo allotment will happen on 15th of August. Last date of advanced um, 
payment of your tuition fee is 24th of August that is again Wednesday last date of balance fee payment you have to complete on 2nd of September original program will uh, tentatively start on uh, 12th of September and class uh, and I think classes tentative uh, date for class starting is on uh, 14th of September so that is how the uh, entire integrated mtech course write down your comments in comment box if you have any doubt regarding this many of uh, students they wrote their uh, pcm marks and they are asking me uh, either we are eligible for getting admission or not so i already uh, told those have 65 percentage marks they can apply for this integrated um, mtech course and those are in uh, belongs to in SC or NT category. Uh, they they can apply if uh, they have 50 percent marks, 55 percent marks also. So th these are the requirements. You can go through the college website and uh, check it out. And if you you have any doubt, write in comment box. Otherwise, um, DM me on Instagram. Uh, you can check my YouTube channel where you can find out uh, Instagram and LinkedIn links so you can directly contact me on Instagram. Uh, so if you're directly typing in, on Instagram Kasturishtam Patil you can get my details so you can ask me there also. So thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.